White Sox and the Tigers. Uh, Dylan Cease going to the mound for the White Sox today. Drew Hutchinson uh, coming back up uh, from the minors, uh, getting called back up for this game. White Sox a dollar eighty-five favorite total, seven and a half in this game. Um, base winner. Let's start with you in this game. Uh, some thoughts on the Sox and the Tigers. Yeah, I'm going to make it a play. I'm going to go with the White Sox my, on the first five, minus a half, minus 120. And I think the most interesting thing about this game for me was that I didn't realize you spelled Hutchinson without the N. It's Hutchinson, not Hutchinson. And I was having the darndest time looking up his numbers because I couldn't I couldn't spell it correctly. But I got it in there. I think what they're going to do, TC, in this game is they're going to go – uh, your favorite, the uh, the opener and then the, the bulk guy. And so the uh, opener is going to be yeah, – I know you love that. And uh, the opener is going to be, be Hutchison, and then the bulk guy is going to be Alexander. Well, either way, they're both really crappy pitchers. I've got them probably about 16%, 17% worse than average. Dylan Cease, I'm an, I like the guy. I, I've got him eighth out of 150 pitchers. I've got the game price on the five-inning line just like just on the money line, minus 268, and you can get it at minus 190. So if you want to play it that way – you can. And, and one of the things about Cease that you really have to like is, is his ability to strike batters out. In fact, there's only uh, four pitchers in, or three pitchers in baseball that have a higher uh, stri- uh, strikeouts above average than he does. And that's McClanahan, Lozardo, and Strider. And Cease is there 56% better than average in striking out uh, batters as, as on my uh, base winner uh, starting pitcher board. So, uh, you know, you have to like that. On the downside, he's been wild as hell. He's a, he's 48% worse than average from a walk standpoint. But I think if you look at some of these uh, plate discipline numbers uh, for Detroit, worse in baseball, BB uh, offensively, uh, walks divided by strikeouts, 0.263. So I think we get an edge there. I don't think that they're a, a real patient team. So I think that we can we can take advantage of their lack of plate discipline skills offensively. And then this was really an interesting stat. And I dug a little bit deep, but I was concerned about uh, the White Sox uh, – uh, walks divided by strikeouts offensively. So I said, well, how do they do uh, in Detroit, in Comer- Comerica Park, over the last two years? And this is a decent amount of plate appearances. It's 534, so it's statistically relevant. And they're the number one team just just above the Astros in, in walks divided by strikeouts at Comerica Park. or Comerica. I think it's, it's either Comerica Park or Comerica. Comerica. Yeah, but I know it's Comerica. I just don't know if they use field or park. And I'll, I'll get park. in trouble if I use the wrong one, just like uh, Jeff, yeah. Jeff, Go- Jeff Gordon did. Uh, when I think he called Wrigley Field, Wrigley Park. and like he, or, or, and he Wrigley he, Stadium, he said, is, right? Is that what he yeah. said? Okay, yeah. yeah. So he, he couldn't hear, hear, the, hear the end of that. But anyway, the White Sox best plate discipline skills uh, in that stadium over the last two years. So for all those reasons, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, bank this, uh, minus, uh, this first five innings minus a half, minus 120 TC. Okay, a couple of the nuggets regarding uh, Dylan Cease. You mentioned he's been wild. In that last game, he had a 45-pitch inning in the fifth inning. Tony La Russa had to pull him out. I mean, 45 pitches in that inning. And Dylan Cease is another weird guy where he he pitched pretty well in that game, but his defense was so pathetic. He, he's given up no earned runs, guys. No earned runs in his last three starts, but they've scored nine. So they, he gave up six runs, or the White Sox allowed six runs in his last start, but he had... He was charged with none of them. And here's a little t- uh, nugget for you. Dylan Cease uh, pitching against his former team today, the Detroit Tigers. He is 9-0 and against the Tigers in his career. So a little, uh, little fun nugget there. Uh, Jeff, any thoughts on this game? Yeah, I mean, this, this brings back one of the worst beats I've had on this show last week. I backed this very same play that Mark made up 5 nothing, and somehow the White Sox – don't cover first five. They're, remember, they were five nothing going into the fifth. Didn't cover. They, they were down six five. Just awful. Uh, I have no interest in this game. Uh, but I again wouldn't mind going back to it. Um, Cease against Hutchison, major advantage for for Mark. Um, Hutchison's a disaster. He has been his whole career. Remember back to Toronto, he wasn't a good pitcher. Um, you look at his lifetime career numbers, just just not good. I mean, just a just a middle of the road or or bottom of the barrel type of guy. Just a guy you want to come in and give you a couple of innings to 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 get you to the next day. Kind of a a bridge loan, if you will. Um, that, that's kind of what you're doing here. I will say, uh, nasty stuff off the field for White Sox shortstop Tim Anderson. A lot of 
bad things coming out about Mr. Anderson and some infidelity, guys. A uh, lot of bad stuff. I don't know if people have heard about that. Not good for Tim Anderson, if true. And, and the game that you're referring to last week, that was against the Dodgers, though. So I, I don't see uh, Detroit exploding like the Dodgers but still, I mean, in that game. But I know. Ba- yeah. Bad juju because <laughs> you got this thing. You remember that from the White Sox. I get it, man. I get it. All right, we're going to lock base winner in with a play here, right? Base yeah. winner, is again, he's, he's on the Chicago White Sox for the first five. He's going to lay 120 on this. Well, the White Sox have the lead after the first five. Makes a lot of sense considering the pitching matchup here. So uh, root you on, my man, and uh, go from there.